Hey, welcome to this Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts gameplay video. If you love the history of naval warfare when castles of steel ruled the waves, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. It's time to play some Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. I've had a request by uh, my good friend Stephen Cross, one of the uh, one of my subscribers, to do uh, the UK fast battleship battle cruiser uh, G3, and so I've been sitting here trying to figure out, you know, well, one, is it easy to build? No, it's not. <laughs> it's it's tough to build. I'm not sure I can do an accurate uh, uh, an accurate uh, build but we'll get something out but mostly well what would you do with it uh where, where is it going to fight well you know the, uh, fighting the germans in 1940 well i guess so but hey what's more interesting i've been doing war play in orange for the u.s and japanese war in the 20s and 30s what do you say we do war plan red joint army navy basic war plan red a color-coded war plan created by the United States in the late 20s and early 30s to estimate requirements for a hypothetical war with Great Britain. Uh, now, you know, how, how does a war come to pass between the U.S. and Great Britain in the 1930s? And it struck me, perhaps, uh, perhaps the U.S. imposes tariffs on Canadian maple syrup. And in revenge, the Canadians say, hey, you know, we'll just cut you off. Well, so the Americans, hungry for their sticky sweet syrup, decide to attack Canada to gain access to the strategic resource. And Great Britain responds. So maybe we've got a situation here where the U.S. is attacking Halifax and they've got a uh, far blockade blockade well off the coast and uh, the United Kingdom has sent a task force to break the blockade for a convoy that's coming to reinforce Halifax to uh, preserve the Canadians right to produce and sell their sticky sweet maple syrup yeah yeah okay that makes sense <laughs> why why not why not yeah, I'm not pretty good. I'm not, I'm, bleh, I can't even talk. I'm not very good at this improvising stuff, but we're going to go ahead and get in here. What do you say we uh, set this up? Oh, whoop, I, I missed it, didn't I? Back, back. German. For, oh, British Empire. Okay, and my experience has been that you've got to set this to about 1930 to have a chance to... Uh, actually get this battleship built because you can't build a battle cruiser you know she's supposed to be a battle cruiser or fast battleship well none of the battle cruiser hulls will support her it's just not going to happen so let's uh we're gonna have to build a battleship we're gonna have to use a modern battleship hull there's the united states it's 1930 24,000 meters seems fair oh she sends a heavy cruiser, a couple of light cruisers, and uh, four destroyers. There's the uh, there's the uh, task force, and uh, the United States has got a battle cruiser. Excuse me, a battleship. Uh, oh, let's say two heavy cruisers. Why not uh, a light cruiser and uh, a couple of destroyers? And uh, I don't know. I, it doesn't much matter. I, I I just wish we had transports. I really do wish we had transports. Uh, one battleship, two heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, light cruisers. Uh, the guy with more destroyers has an advantage. I really think that's true. Uh, let's just let's just. Let's just do the same thing. For some reason, it's a perfectly, perfectly symmetrical forces. Yeah, whatever. Okay, now I'm going to jump in here and start this design. But it's long, it's tedious, it's a pain. Wow, 
Look at the hulls we have available. Every time I play this thing, I end up with a different setup. Huh. I don't remember seeing this before. Uh... Okay, so see, right off the bat, I've run into this ain't gonna work. Well, yeah, actually, it might work. Okay, let's pause this, and I'll be back in a moment with a uh, with some kind of build, and we'll talk our way through it. Well, there she is. Now, I made a lot of compromises because, quite honestly, the game engine just doesn't seem to be quite set up for this type of layout without a aft turret and you end up with a pretty serious full weight offset. I also managed to get her onto a battle cruiser hull and I decided to play it a little differently uh, or posit a little different situation perhaps is a better way to put it. Um, in any case let's go over it real quick. She's uh, just shy of 50,000 tons and the numbers I have for are anywhere from 48 to 55,000 with a deep load. I can't get 55,000 on a battle cruiser hull, and I don't think I can get as little as 55,000 on a dreadnought hull that will accommodate this arrangement. I could be wrong. Uh, I've tried five or six times. I don't know. Maybe there's a combination that works. This is close. It's kind of cool. Speed 32 knots, range long, bulkheads many. She had geared turbine engines, oil balanced, uh, you know, and these things. I don't know what the right thing is. She was designed in the early 20s. I figured I'll leave her a step back or so. Best armor, Barbette 3 because, well, Barbette 4. I don't know. You got to pick something, Barbette 3. I did read that she had three structural components to her anti-torp, which I won't go into in any detail. So we'll just use anti-torp 3 because it says it has with triple torpedo bulkheads, which isn't exactly what I read, but that's fine. Double hulled, reinforced to anti-flood 3, and I did read that she had all or nothing armor. Also, that she had light shells, which was unusual for the British. I gave her increased ammo because, hey, more ammo is more good. Increased uh, torpedoes, high TNT. Again, this starts getting into, I don't know what's appropriate. Went with electrical, enhanced reloading, fast torpedoes just for fun, although, you know, whatever. She's supposed to have 24 and a half inch torpedoes, but 21 inches are the only ones available in 1930. I I picked one. I don't know what to, <laughs> what to make of this. RDF, no radar. She had a 14 inch belt that said 12 to 14 inches, so she really I may be reading this wrong, or perhaps I need to look at a few other sources. That's a hell of an extended belt, but we'll leave it that way. Eight-inch deck, three-inch deck extended. A really lightly armored conning tower, which makes me concerned about her being able to continue shooting after she takes a major caliber hit uh, in the conning tower, but that's the way it is. 17-inch turrets, 8-inch top, and I just guessed uh, 5-inch secondaries. She's supposed to have 8 dual 16, 6-inch mounts. You can't fit dual 6-inch mounts anywhere else on this hull. So I went with uh, a couple of additional four inch dual mounts here, trying to throw weight to the rear. And I gave her a bunch of, uh, let's see how many, 10 times three two inch guns. She's supposed to have, I think 10 uh, quad mount pom poms, but you know, there it is. You can't, you can't get a, uh, there's no quad mount, so we just went with that. Um, what else? She has torpedo tubes, uh, four of them, two in each broadside. And uh, these funnels would look better if they were on the same level, but I use the most modern and heavy secondary tower available, trying to get this four and a half ballots a little bit better. 
uh, they should have put a bunch of sacrete back here. Back in after steering. Back, way back here in after steering, they needed to have, you know, bags of lead or something. I don't know. She's a little nose heavy. She's significantly nose heavy. So, what do you say we uh, take her out for a spin? If I can figure out how to. There we go. Now, what we're going to do, because these games tend to go really long. Let's take a look. What do we got? We've got pretty much matched forces here, uh, except we're a battlecruiser's battleship. And let's pretend that this is an escorting force trying to bring a convoy of British troops to Halifax, and uh, they're intercepted by uh, this force of uh, the United States uh, Navy that's trying to prevent them. And I'll be happy if we can make the battleship run. If we make the battleship turn, then we'll call it a win, because if you think about this, Playing it until everybody's sunk, well, one, it takes forever, and it's kind of boring, and two, you're a long ways from home. If this guy turns and runs, well, you, st I would stand back and mop up the light forces if they were foolish enough to stick around and force my convoy through trying to minimize damage to the capital ship. Uh, that's my, uh, look at this, missing required mount heavy cat. Yeah, I don't know. Forget it. <laughs> That's my rationale for not letting this run forever. We're either going to have our battle cruiser beat down, in which case the light forces ought to flee, run away, and the uh, blockade has been successful, or we're going to push the convoy through by actually running running off the uh, intercepting blockaders. Well, by God, she's right on us. And she's... go. Oh, that is disturbingly powerful. Even if those are 14-inch guns, that's going to be disturbingly powerful. Alright, what do we need to do here? One, we need to reorganize our destroyers. Detach. Destroyer uh, to the two destroyers. It's a turbulent. I love British names. The inflexible is what the na name she got. How about that? And she needs to. Yeah, she's on independent. We're going to turn the AI on there. We're going to turn. Ugh. She needs to slow down. Well, she's only making 24 knots now. These guys are only making 24 knots. I don't think we're going to turn anytime soon. We need to let these destroyers get clear. Uh, I think... Detach to this and they appear to be they appear to be on independent command and I want them to screen the inflexible did that work click screen I think that worked we need them to keep us from getting in trouble with enemy destroyers and we need as much as I'd like to uh, how fast can she go oh she's pretty quick oh, she's independent let's give her AI on and find out what all these crazy guys do. Whoa, look at them. She took off. Uh, well, guys, it's going to be really awkward when you run into the inflexible. She's going to have to turn. To keep these guys from running into her because the AI is crazy. We're at 5%, 6% chance to hit. 
high arcing plunging fire it's going to be interesting yeah just try not to charge out there and get hit by your own destroyers I'm gonna have to turn to avoid those guys that's awkward Alright, we're all the way up to 7.5% chance to hit. We have not identified our opponent. Whoa, we got a hit! We might as well just commit to moving in this direction. I don't know what the heck the AI thinks they're doing with that. Not taking any hits yet, so that's a good thing. Now we're letting the, uh, and these guys are screening and they are getting way out there. Oh my god. Oh my god. She must have turned broadside. Yep. Okay. Well, we are now steaming more or less parallel. Why am I having a problem getting, okay, here it goes. Hey, cruisers. Steady. How about let's not be stupid. Turn. And the inflexible pick up your pace, pick up the pace, pick up the pace. Alright. Well, we still have yet to identify the warship. Long ways from doing it. She hasn't laid a glove on us yet. Looks like all our turrets are in action. For that matter, the cruisers are... Oh! Okay. 16 inches. Oh my god. She's got 30... Oh, she has... Uh, huh. mm, 3% more guns. That's exciting. This could be a disturbing game. Hey, what are you guys doing? Uh, the inflexible just got hammered. She's uh, very sad. She is very sad. Oh, yeah, this is, she's taking serious plunging fire. Well, it says mid-belt. All I know is it, it hurt really bad. And we're getting, we're getting some hits, but nothing like what's happening to us. Our destroyers are being dinguses. I have no idea what they're doing. Come on, we don't get some serious payback, like, immediately. This is the quickest fight ever. Oh. 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 At this point, I would say that we are whipped. We are whipped. <laughs> Let's restart the battle, see if we get a different opponent. <laughs> wow! Well, that, uh, that, that didn't work so good. And close that. Oh, well, let's, see what, let's see what kind of opponent we draw this time. To the north, huh? Well, that's the way we're heading. To the north. Uh, what are you doing? Pause. All right, we're going to have to play games with the destroyers again because they're they're already acting rather foolish. And 
attach and attach and AI on and see what they do. The light cruiser, the black prince, that's sweet. Got 33 knots. She needs to move out ahead in short order. These guys are good for 21 knots. Oh my god. What have we picked up here? Um, we picked up some really ancient heavy cruisers. Those are those are armored cruisers. That's uh, they're not going to be very much use. I'm afraid the dice have been rude to us. What are the destroyers doing? Okay, they're whizzing about. Yeah, I would say they have been unkind to us. We're going to have to slow down. They can't even stay in the fight with us. And we're being fired on already. Oh yeah, we don't even have a clue what's going on here. Enemy smoke sighted. What are you talking about? We got enemy rounds falling on us like crazy. Oh. Well, at least we didn't get punched out. Got hit. Stop. What do we see out here? Torpedoes already? Is that what I'm seeing? <laughs> well, there's a whole flock of torpedoes. Maybe I should say a school. And the destroyers are on their own. Oh, we finally spotted something. Well, what could it be? I don't know what that is. Okay, well, whatever it is, we are now well and truly engaged. Uh, that's got to be a... Well, it looks to be a battleship of some type. It's not a heavy cruiser. I could be wrong. It could be a cruiser hull. It says it has two of them. over there. Right, okay. Meanwhile, we've got these relics as part of our uh, force here. That's exciting. Let's go. The destroyers There are a pile of destroyers out there. Yeah, there they are. They've engaged. Right! And the Inflexible has locked up somebody. But I don't know who. Oh, 
All right, we took a hit. 17 inch. Uh, it's a bad day to play the British. Seventeen inch. Uh, well, we're not having fun yet. Go! Down to three times, and I need you to engage. Yep, you are. Excellent. Do that. You heavy cruisers, you useless pieces of whatever. <laughs> Hopeless. Hopeless. What are they? Eight inch gun. 6,900 ton. This is supposed to be 1930. Where did these guys come from? And she has decided to shoot at... And she took a torpedo hit? Oh, she did. They... Oh, they put a raft of torpedoes on us. Yeah, it's not a good day. It's not a good day. We're about to have collisions between us and our heavy cruisers. Well, our hopeless, the, well, we got a piece of that. Oh. Well, we got one of their, got one of their destroyers. <laughs> our light cruiser is well and truly toast and why are you engaging anybody but him oh ouch well our destroyers have done a truly great job on their destroyers We have not identified her yet. Our heavy cruisers are just hopeless. Nicely done! Uh, it's what? 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 It's the main. Well, guess what? She is an eggshell armed with hammers. Look at the gun. Look at the the armor. She's got big guns, no armor, and she's slow, and she's taking some bad hits already. Of course, we have two, but man. It's just fascinating. Meanwhile, these heavy cruisers are useless. And probably just as well, because they're just going to get hammered. Out here in a fight with those guys. Alright, enough talk. Let's go. Is the main running away? I think we have run her off. In fact, we seem to have decided to shoot at other things. Again, picking. I don't understand how I can. Now yeah, we got another one of those destroyers. I can stick on her and get over there. I can't. There we go. 
Oh, look, bubbles. Cool. <laughs> oh, thump, thump. Well, she definitely gave us a bruising. And she's not exactly running away. Our destroyers are heroic. Meanwhile, our useless... heavy cruisers. Alright, let's turn on them. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I see torpedoes. Alright, well, we'll increase that turn. Wham! Well, we were just totally outclassed in the last, the first game, or the first run through. Looks like some of our destroy, one of our destroyers just took a bad, bad hit. And it kind of looks like it went that way this time. For, uh, I mean, against the, uh, against the USN. Yeah, she's, uh, she can't really get away. She's got 12 knots on. Oh, we've lost a, uh, we've lost a destroyer. It's hopeless, hopeless cruisers. Oh, looks like our torp our yeah, looks like our destroyers. Wham! I don't know who just got that. Uh huh. It will be very nice when we can control more of these. Look at the torpedoes. Oh, that made her very sad. She's taking on water. She slowed him down? Yeah, it slowed her down too. Looks like she's got the flooding under control though. Ouch! She has put a hurt on us. And oh, she's taken five inches from the destroyers. <laughs> well. Oh. Well, from the point of view of damage dealt back and forth right now, she's actually ahead of us. We've taken flotation damage. It's pretty grim. I think that heavy cruiser, that light cruiser, just got smeared. Yep, down she goes. Well, the destroyer attack has been astounding. Good hit, but really, 55-72, 52-92, she's in better shape than we are. Mope it along at 19 knots, 20 knots because our, oh, oh, oh. I don't know who took all those hits. 
the destroyers are just incredibly aggressive. Look at the look at the torpedoes. Tag. She seems to be taking that rather well. Yeah, this is uh at this point I kinda call it in terms of damage dealt well, we're ahead. Because our destroyers have been heroic. And now we're shooting at who took a torpedo hit? Not him. Ah, uh, yeah, right there. Our light cruiser is a basket case. Our destroyers, or the ones that are left, are in pretty good shape. The inflexible is beat. She's beat down. Our heavy cruisers are great because they are so slow and stupid they don't know how to play. Basically, the destroyers keep coming in trying to put torpedoes in her. The heavy cruisers are returning fire. Hey, they don't have any torpedoes left! Oh, look, though. Here comes... Here comes more fun. She is sucking up those torpedo hits and loving them. All right, get her back on. Oh my God! <laughs> well, there's a lot of work to be done with the AI. That would have been a devastating collision in real life. Yeah, that that heavy cruiser is in a world of hurt. The destroyers have just swarmed this crowd and torn them up. I swore I wasn't going to play this till the very end, but it's kind of looking like, oh, oh, like she's just toast. Flotation 21%. She actually seems to be pumping some of it down. But the inflexible just won't give her any peace. down to five knots, engine hit, steer, rudder damage, conning tower damage, she's on fire. Well, the real heroes have been, oh, have been the, uh, the destroyers. They just tore them up. So we have one game where we were just ferociously outclassed and beat down right off the bat. Here we took some significant damage. I mean that's really a big deal. She's hurt. But the main is a wreck. That's all there is to it. And for that matter, one of the cruisers is a wreck. They've lost the light cruiser, all the destroyers. The Black Prince is still in the game but just barely. All right, men. Let's. She's doing about as good as she can do. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the main's done. And down she goes. Tell you what, though, the heavy cruisers are game. They are still flopping torpedoes out there and working over the destroyers. But the truth is, at this point, the battle cruiser ought to be able to f finish these cruisers off. And uh, that's that. So I think we ought to call it a day. <laughs> well, 
Oh, that was the wrong thing to do. The battle. Well, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Here's here's what's happening. This is all wild card. In fact, it's all wild card except the guy you draw. I mean, this the two heavy cruisers were useless on the British side. The light cruiser got hammied, hammered early and didn't contribute much. The four destroyers went out there, smacked down the uh, U.S. destroyers, who may have been totally outclassed. Uh, for all I know, I didn't look at them closely. Killed the light cruiser and just completely tied the heavy cruiser up in knots and put torpedoes into the battleship, uh, into the main. Uh, it's very cool. <laughs> it's just very cool. Well, there you go, Stephen Cross. There's your uh, G3 fast battleship or battle cruiser. Hey, you see, love to do it. Anytime you got an idea, let me know in the comments. In the meantime, hey, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you again real soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button, and please share and comment. See you again soon.